Last summer, I designed and built this wooden Arduino tank robot. It contains an XB wireless module, LCD, mortar driver, and batteries. Originally, I designed this very small custom controller for the robot. It contains an Arduino, an accelerometer, and an AT Mega acting as an LED driver. On the bottom is the wiring, XB module, and place the battery. And now a short demonstration of the orientation feature of the display. And the robot driving. Although this controller was really cool, I needed one with more functions, so this past summer I designed a new one. To begin, this is a circuit schematic of the new controller, which I designed in CatSoft Eagle, which led me to design my first ever custom double-sided PCB, which I got professionally fabricated. This is the front side of the finished PCB, the back side, and a close-up of the circuit traces. This is the finished product, pretty large controller. On the top is a 3.2 inch touchscreen LCD display. On the sides are two joysticks, and underneath the display are all the components. There is an Arduino Fio, an onboard real-time clock, an XB wireless module that allows wireless programming and communication, a three-axis accelerometer, a micro SD card slot, charging port, on-off switch, a few chips for math, computation, and analog inputs, and a light and voltage sensor. The board in person is pretty large. One program I've written for it right now is an accelerometer graphing program. So if you turn it on, we see that there is a green, red, and blue line. And down at the bottom, there is the time and a color-coded key. And as we tilt the board left and right, we see that the green line moves accordingly. So it basically graphs the accelerometer value for the x-axis. Same with the red. Actually, if we shake the board up and down, we see that the z changes left and right, the x changes, and up and down, the y changes. So as, sorry for the focus, not being in focus here, but as the board moves around, it graphs the values in real time. And actually, while you're graphing in real time on the display, it's recording all the values on the SD card. So you can open this file on your computer and see the graph, the same one you see on the display itself. The board is also wirelessly programmed, which is very convenient. There are practical uses to this device as well. For example, a few months ago, I wanted to ask a girl out to a school dance, so I made this small game. You have a little ball you control by tilting the board, and you go and gobble up all of the little squares at the corner of the screen, and she said yes, click yes, and balloons to celebrate. Thanks for watching.